Hello Bulldozer Power fans, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with the Electro Sports League for week six of Bulldozer Power's prestigious season uh, where they are hoping to, uh, to dominate the tactical division and take it all the way to the championship. Uh, this week they face the rather impressive looking Fruit Bats who are currently three and two and obviously the difficulty has been increased once again and this could prove to be quite a challenge. The lineup for today, uh, well, we'll be starting Fuegas at pitcher and uh, the uh, Fruit Bats will be starting Poke Rude, uh, which is a, a name to conjure all kinds of imagery. Uh, and we're going to get to the game straight away to see how we perform. So it's a bright and sunny day here at Fruit Bat Stadium um, and uh, it's certainly going to be an interesting match, this one, uh, as, the, uh, as the difficulty will undoubtedly make this one closer than ever before. Uh, failure is first at bat. Now bat, number 32, the right fielder. He's having a remarkable season so far. Uh, how's he going to feel about this? Obviously leaving the first pitch, uh, that's pretty standard. Nice looking strike there. Did you see the truck train? Look at the train look. Okay, failure really needs to concentrate now. Well, fouls are better than being struck out. He's not going to get very far on that. Uh, I don't think he was uh, particularly concentrating. The uh, the train there clearly throwing him off his game. Here comes team leading scorer Hookers. That first strike went right up the... Oh, dearie me. No, and uh, the team are all over the place at the moment. The, the, the batting is really not looking effective as Hookers is struck out. Uh, Puckeye's not had a great couple of weeks, but maybe uh, this is the time that... Oh, dear. Uh, that she, uh, she manages... To, no, seriously? There we go. Concentrate. Well, there we go. Puckeye actually managed to get it. Oh, come on. That was so close. Well, that was, that was a very good pitch, <laughs> has to be said. Uh, I did not think for a moment that one was going in, uh, but it was. And we're out. Oh, dear. Uh, right, well, Fuegas has got it all to do as Bulldozer Power slump to a zero hit opening inning. Now batting number five, the first baseman. Here's Gail Allen. Now that one's going to go foul. Uh, the pitch was uh, a little wide of where he wanted it to be. Suckered the batter well on that one. But that one just a, just a touch low. That one's popped up and hopefully someone's going to get underneath it. There we go. A good catch there. And uh, that's the first batter retired. Abigail Turkish, shortstop. Uh, got a pretty, a pretty aggressive stance going on there. I don't know what sort of noise the uh, the umpire was making there, but uh, but yes, ha ha ha, indeed. And uh, Fuegas showing the fast hands there as uh, as Plastic Vicar steps up uh, with his uh, with his neon orange moustache. Uh, that one was slightly low and away there. That was a that was a nice looking slider. Actually, arguably that's the nicest looking pitch we've done so far. Sucking him on the second one. That one's popped up. Steve Morris is going to chase after it, but that one's headed for the dugout. Oh. 
Well, as uh, uh, Fuegas walks the well, it's the first walk we've done this season, and uh, and that's less than ideal as uh, as Vicar gets on base. And that's going to be good enough to get him on base as well. And that's uh, that's now two outs with two on base. And up to bat is uh, Matthew Loncheros. Uh, five runs batted in and two home runs so far this season. That one's gone high up to centre field. Uh, it's gone beyond centre field. It's gone into the ornamental garden uh, where uh, many people go to experience Zen. Uh, in the uh, in the case of this baseball, it goes to experience three runs being batted in, and uh, that couldn't have gone worse uh, for the bulldozer power team. Now batting, number three, the right fielder. Here's Dale Loins. And uh, she's going to be run out to first, and that's the side retired, but the damage is done. Uh, only two hits there, but uh, but three runs. That is uh, not the kind of opening inning that we had hoped to see, and uh, and arguably it's because the uh, the pitch there was rather too easy and it got lit up. Ball one. And he's fouled that one out. I think that was going for a ball as well. There's ball two. Pumpkin gets a piece of it, but he's going to be caught. And, uh, and that's Pumpkin going for a bit of a sit-down. Now batting, number 11, the center fielder. Here's Wilbur Carface. Back. It's another one of those big in-swinging curves that's there. Back. Ball two. Well, if you say so, but I don't buy it. Strike two. Carface says no thank you very much, uh, puts that one into the crowd. Uh, he's put that one over behind his head. And he swings at one that was so high uh, that it came back down with ice particles forming around the perimeter as Sonny Watt hopes to salvage something from the second inning. At this point we'll just take an on base. And that's exactly what we get. None of this uh, letting the first pitch go. Uh, Sonny Watt there actually managed to, to get on base. And here comes Steve Murray. Takes a swing at that one, and that one spun out very wide. That one was lovely, and he swung very late. Well, and that's another strike out there. Steve Murray very disappointed with himself. Uh, almost as disappointed as I am in him. Uh, next up to bat will be Jerry Butler. Now batting, number 18, the catcher. And a monster curve to start things off. And an amazing catch there uh, from Lee Hu. Uh, I didn't think he was going to get to it, but that's the first time we've seen a diving catch uh, really pay off there. As Fuegas uh, has a sudden period of pitching really rather nicely. And that's out number two. Very efficient, getting it done. Here's Poke Rude. Yeah, no poking for you, Rude. You're out. Uh, three up, three down, and uh, the side is retired as Lee Hu is going to be next up to uh, to see what he can accomplish. Now batting, number 30, the first baseman. He's got 11 runs batted in so far this season as Lee, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see if he's going to keep up that kind of uh, sporting attitude. No, he's going to keep that one high up. And uh, that's another one caught there. And we're not really burning through this pitcher's arsenal either as, uh, as Fuegas, who looks very pleased with himself, um, is coming up to give himself a, a, a spin. 
No, he shouldn't really have swung at that one. He felt like it was coming in, but it wasn't. That was a little late, but it's legit. Fuegas not really got the legs to get to first in time. Here comes Failure, who was having a tremendous season, uh, but today not so much so far. Yeah, sure. Go for the, uh, go for the, obviously, oh my goodness me. And that's another one out. Uh, very little resistance shown uh, by Bulldozer Power, who continue to languish on one hit. Now batting, number five, the first baseman. Here's Gail Allen. Well, she's, she's got that one uh, in her address book. She's going to send it a postcard. It's going to say, uh, hi there. Had a lovely day today. Went down to the ballpark. Hit one 459 feet for a home run. Hugs and kisses. Gail. Uh, well, Gail goes to sit down. Uh, she's done her job. And, uh, and that's yet more damage done to the, uh, the lead. Uh, well, no. It's a, there's no damage being done to the lead. The damage is being done to Bulldozer Power. I mean, you can pin some of the responsibility on Fuegas, whose, whose pitching has been a little bit uh, erratic. You've got to be kidding me. That one's going to go straight to third. And a double there. Now batting, number 17, the left fielder. Here's Vicar, the brightness of his tash, having given him a walk on his first at bat. And that's a foul, which takes to ball one, strike one. And he'll get on base again, and that's uh, runners now on first and third as now we uh, as we look to uh, dispatch Flapjack Newton, who managed to get a hit last time out. And uh, he's got a hit this time as well, and that's going to get him two bases. And another run in, taking the Fruit Bats up to five. Now batting number 36, the third baseman. Launcheros has got a bit of a swagger about him. Uh, hardly surprising, given his, uh, his first at-bat home run. And, uh, and, uh, and the, the, the fielding indecision there led to, uh, led to the bases being loaded, which is, uh, which is marvellous. No, the bases aren't loaded. Uh, the bases are, in fact, he, he got in. There you go. I'm going to pay attention to the game now. That one was a bit high. That one was a bit low. There we go. Well, that's a catch out. Nobody got anything out of that one. We maybe could have got a two uh, a double play out of that, but I don't think uh, I don't think we did too badly as a result as that one was caught. Well, we got the runner going to second there, um, taking it to two outs as uh, Spray Wright is uh, is next coming up to have a go. He thinks he's hard enough. Let's see what he's got. Strike one. Fuegas digs deep. That's ball one. Uh, ball uh, bird. Strike two. There we go. That's the thing that it's called, and that's exactly what it was. Safe? No. Under no circumstances was that safe. Should have thrown to first, because that would have been the side retired. Uh, what a mistake. Strike one. Lee making a good dive. That oh, and a massive fielding error from failure uh, is going to uh, is going to cause quite a bit of damage. And that's a that's a very 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 bad throw. Uh, another two runs in there. And uh, here we are in the third inning, and the uh, the fruit bats are almost in double figures. Well, that one's gone very far indeed, but it's not going to count because it's a foul.
Pitcher can't quite get a, his hand on that one. And uh, that's another runner on base and another run in. And that's 10 to nothing in favour of the Fruit Bats. And uh, it's it's not so much that Bulldozer Power's uh, season is uh, is looking to be uh, in jeopardy at this point. It's more that it looks like it's a complete shambles. That's three balls in a row, and uh, and Fuegos is going to have to play it straight now, or not, as the case may be. And finally, they retire the side. But uh, that was a pretty epic innings there for the Fruit Bat, uh, plural, uh, as, uh, as they now have 10 runs. Uh, and, uh, and Hookers is up next. And uh, you've, got to, you've got to wonder how, how rattled the team is uh, as, uh, as Hookers looks to do anything at all uh, that could be deemed positive. Yeah, he's, well, he, I mean, you know, that, that one went up in the air. Third baseman made a dive for it. That one was very low. Ball two, strike two. There you go. Hookers slugs at that one. And it's gone. Well, there's some consolation to that. Uh, there was some consolation in the fact that we actually hit one, uh, for starters, that it didn't get caught, secondary, and, uh, and that we got a run. Uh, there. Hookers will be pleased with that, and that will keep his confidence a little bit more cheery. Here comes Puckeye. Mm, yes. No. And Puckeye's run out to first. Now batting, number 62, the third baseman. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. Ball two. Ball three. And Pumpkin gets to walk. Uh, the uh, the temptation there to swing, he managed to hang on to it. Uh, and he soaked up four balls in a row, and now he's on first as, uh, as Carface is up to show what he's made of. He's almost made of getting hit in the knee by the ball there. That would have hurt. There's ball two. There's ball three. Don't know what's going on with this pitcher. Ball three, strike one. Never. Full count. Oh dear. And a double play from the Fruit Bats recite retires the side, uh, but Bulldozer Power with their second hit of the game manages to, uh, to get on the scoreboard at long last. Uh, but they're going to have to put on a no, tremendous man. defensive Number display 17. here if the they're going field. to avoid a humiliating result today. Yeah, I know it's already humiliating. Uh, a more humiliating result. The kind of result that says, like, oh, I see, you were quite happy while you had the training wheels on, but take those training wheels off, and all of a sudden you can't play baseball anymore. In your own time there, Carface. Now batting, number 28, the center fielder. Here's Flapjack Newton, two for two today. Really not doing a great job at stopping those straight up the middle of the pitch uh, kind of uh, field uh, uh, hits there. Uh, but, uh, but then again, that is our go-to area ourselves. Puckeye makes a dive for it, doesn't quite get there in time. And that loads up the bases in full. No outs, Fruit Bats, four on, uh, the three on base. And, uh, uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, here's Dale Loins. Oh, what? Oh dear. Um, well, that's gone badly. And, uh, the right field is going to, left field is going to come up and approach the mound and have a word with the pitcher. The word is going to be, will you please throw something better than that? That's, that's more than one word, strictly speaking. Well, that's something. 
didn't get the double off that one, but did get somebody out. And, and that, at this stage of the game, is proving to be something of a novelty. There we go, uh, and that's two outs now. Gone for the same uh, the same approach there, which is you, never mind the guy running to first. Just get the guy going to second, and then maybe we'll live. And that one's gone very high to centre field, uh, and that one too has gone for a moment's reflection and thought in the Zen Garden, uh, where it uh, where we're, we're taking in a tiki torch maybe, and. Uh, are generally uh, chilling, relaxing, and, uh, and mixing, whatever that might mean. And that's now the Fruit Bats on 15. Well, that one's been popped up. There's a good chance we might actually catch this one. Carface wants it. Carface has it. The side's retired. Uh, but another five runs batted in there, and uh, and this one could be over unless uh, Bulldozer Power managed two things. Number one, they learn how to bat. Number two, they learn how to field. Now batting, number 13, the second baseman. Here's Sonny Watt. Nice one, Sonny. Straight out. Good job. Let's not waste anyone's time here. Let's, uh, you know, if we're, if we're getting out, uh, might as well do it on the first pitch. Steve Murray finally gets one away. Uh, that's a, you know, he doesn't get on base very often, uh, or hasn't done in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but there he is now, sitting proud on first base. Uh, he might not get any further than that, uh, but we can dream. Here's Lee Hu. Ball one. There's ball two. There's ball three. Oh, it's only just wide of the foul line. Don't swing at that, Lee. Should have swung at that, Lee. Oh, dear. Lee, who retired there, and it was all going so well for him. And here comes Fuegas. Uh, and uh, obviously, we're not going to expect too much out of him. There's ball one. Uh, that would have been ball two, but ended up being a strike. That also would have been a ball. Fuegas just very basically swinging away at everything. He's in his backyard. He's got his bat out. He's just spinning it around and flailing at everything. And uh, he's gone to sit down, as have the rest of the team. Abigail Turkish is up to next. Uh, up to now next bat. Bat, bat next. Next batting is the bat next uh, Abigail Turkish. Uh, almost a good piece of fielding, um, but, uh, but an error there. That would have been good, uh, but ended up being okay. Here comes Plastic Vicar. He's having a lovely day. Continuing to be lovely. We'll throw straight to third there. First and second have runners. Here's Flapjack Newton. Uh, he's at hit absolutely everything thrown at him so far today. Well, he hit that one as well. We got an out, um, but uh, could have had so much more, potentially. With four runs today, here is Matthew Launcheros. Strike one. Little low there. Ball two. Ball strike. Yeah, ball one. That, that one's ball two. That's the one you were expecting. Good show. Ever so slightly fouled. Yep, just throw that one away because you didn't have the line at all. And there's another foul. That's uh, three fouls. Uh, three balls, two strikes. Uh, it, oh, it's what they call a full count. 
And he's walking. Oh, dearie me. And that, uh, I believe that loads the bases up unless I've, I've forgotten how to count. Now at bat, Dale Loins. Only, uh, only one of three today. But this will be the time where Dale uh, remembers that she is a professional baseball player and is likely to... Uh, Yeah, I was about to say, uh, is likely uh, to, to hit a home run. Of course, didn't hit a home run, is in fact out. Uh, here's Jerry Butler. Nice dive there uh, from uh, from Sonny Watts, but uh, it's not going to do any good as, uh, as just about everybody gets to run home. Um, three runs in there. It's Bray Wright. Fuegas is starting to look awfully tired. Uh, his pitchers have lost all their zing. Uh, it might be time to take him off. Uh, I think it's time to take him off. Right, let's uh, let's get him out of here as we'll bring in Sally Rhythm, who can uh, who can hopefully make a difference to this game. That one's popped up. It looks like who's going to be, uh, what's going to be, nobody's underneath it. What is the matter with you people? Either one of you clowns could have got to that, but now neither clown got to it. He's Pope Rude, he's got a home run and a triple so far today. He's the pitcher. Well, and, uh, and he continues his batting prowess there, which potentially explains why they've not taken him now off the field. Number five, the first baseman. That, and of course, they're ahead by 19 to 1. Not so much happening there. The throw to home accomplishing absolutely nothing, and that brings up two zero runs now for Fruit Bats. Uh, 20 runs today. That's strike one. Sally Rhythm finding her. Strike two. This is the only one that matters. Only just the ref. Come on. That's ball two. We're going to throw all kinds of garbage at this and uh, and see if we can't get a bite. That's ball three. Something's got to happen. Oh, come on, people. At any point, you could have made a play out of that. Here's Plastic Vicar. Uh, we've got an injury report. Uh, Turkish has stubbed his toe. Strike one. Good result from Sally Vicker. Sally Vicker? Uh, oh, maybe that explains everything. There we go. Finally retired the side. And uh, not before time. And that's another inning where the, uh, the Fruit Bats have, have uh, lamped five more runs on. And we're back up to the top of our batting order as uh, no, 0 for 2, Ulysses' failure right is, uh, is here to show exactly what he's made of. Strike one, ball one. He gets one away! Failure is on base, everybody. Could this be the turning point? Is that far too soon to be saying such things? Here's hookers. Uh, decided late to swing at that one. Shouldn't have. Oh, gently does it there, pitching man. That's strike two. I don't believe we just did that. No. Now batting, what a joke. 24. What a load of rubbish. And here's, uh, here's Park High. <laughs> yeah, thanks there, pitching man. Make it so obvious that you shouldn't swing at it. 
That's Bam Bam Puckeye there, currently leading the team in the number of articles of merchandise that have been returned for a refund. And a new pitcher's coming on, it's Raimundo Mulberry. Uh, who's going to come on and uh, and take over from Poke Rude, who frankly has been having a really nice day. What kind of a pitch is that? My goodness me. Don't look at his arm. Don't look at his arm. It will just mesmerise you and you'll be in trouble. Well, that one's gone foul. That one's not gone foul, but it has done enough to uh, retire the side with uh, with another unimpressive display as uh, as we head into the bottom of the sixth inning and it's Flapjack Newton uh, who has uh, a double and two singles uh, from his at-bats today and uh, and I, I, I imagine he'll be uh, going for a bit more than that now but he's not going to get it no he's out get off my field now batting number 37, dirt your shoelaces third here's Matthew Launcheros Go on, son. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> well, good effort there, and that makes a change. Uh, you don't often say good effort to a bulldozer power fielding player, uh, but that one was good for, Was good effort, and that's strike two. Launcher Ross has got a count against him. Bam Bam's on it. She throws to first. That's more like it. Now bat number three, the right fielder. Here's Dale Loins. Oh, what a pitch. Ah, oh, that one was an absolute beauty. Ah, uh, she's popped that one up. Field's calling for it. Fielder catches it. And that's the side retired in very short order. And that's more like it from the defensive unit for Bulldozer Power. The question now is, can they remember how to bat? Batting, number 11. The field. They've done a lot of batting this season and uh, and typically have been pretty proficient. That one was fast. Oh, Carface, how you disappoint us all there. Pop that one up, now caught batting, out at third. 13, the Here's Sonny Watt. Strike one. Strike two. And that one's gone foul. Ball one. Oh, don't swing it. Just don't. Step down. Now He's out. Number 63, the Here's Steve Murray. Ball one. Ball, uh, strike one. He might have got that one away, but he... And he got in. Ha, ha, ha. Steve Morey there. Uh, appears to be the only person on the team who's remembered how to play. Here's Lee Hu. Yes, that was a strike. Uh, but, uh, you know, swinging before the party had finished had probably been a good idea there. There you go, Lee smacking it away, and for the first time in the game, uh, Bulldozer Power has runners on first and second. We do also have two outs, uh, which means that this may not go entirely to plan. Here's Sally Rhythm. That one was high. That one was fair. That one was foul. There we go, a bit of everything there. Get off! And there's another one of those bendy in-swinging curveballs that, uh, for some reason, nobody on the team has the ability to correctly judge. Uh, if that is the way that the game is played at this uh, this level of magnitude, uh, then you know some adjustment is going to need to be made. Straight up centre field there, and uh, that's the the first batter getting on base without too much problem. Now bat number seven. The second baseman. Ball one. Oh. 
There we go. We got the out there, and uh, and dealing with the uh, the, uh, the the further advanced batter, I think is probably the smart thing to do, which is why I threw it there. Uh, I actually took a moment to consider. Muscle memory has yet to kick in when it comes to uh, uh, how the fielding is going to work. Somebody get underneath it. There we go. Everybody got underneath it, and the job was done. There. That's two outs now. Number five, the first baseman. Ball one. That's a foul. Uh, and uh, Carface Butterfingers uh, dropped that one. Now batting number 21, the shortstop. Abigail Turkish seems to be all right, despite the uh, the stub toe incident that was reported by the media uh, earlier on in the game. Uh, that one's that one's going to go. That one's oh no, that one's gone. Um, yeah, there we go. That's a that's a triple there. Don't you dare run again. Now batting number seventeen, the left fielder. Here's Plastic Vicar. His performance today, taking his batting average for the season to 400. Really? No one can be bothered to run for that one. I'm taking the ball home. Stuff you guys. Now batting number 28, the center field. Here's Flapjack Newton. See if we can make him flap. No, we can't. See if we can make him flap at this one. Ball two. He's popped that one up. Uh, Carface is there, signalling that he would quite like it. And catches it out. Uh, another three runs put in there by the Fruit Bats uh, to round out the seventh inning. And uh, still everything to play for uh, for Bulldozer Power. Only 22 runs behind uh, before they can take this one to additional innings. Potentially. Ball one. Hey, ball two. Yeah, that was a strike. That's the kind of thing that one should swing at. Strike two, ball two. Failure hits that one with authority straight into the crowd. Oh, and then he swings at that one as well, and then he's out. Go home. Now batting number 35. The left fielder. Here's Hookers. Bravo! The bright high point in an otherwise unremarkable Out batting of order for Bulldozer Power today. Out of the That's a foul. That's strike two, ball two. That one, however, is going to be caught. And that's out number two for Bulldozer. Now batting number 24. Shortstop. Everyone loves Bam Bam Puckeye. Uh, no. And that sound there is the sound of Bam Bam Puckeye posters being torn off the wall and set on fire. Now batting number 36, the third baseman. It's Matthew Launcheros. What's he feeling like? Puck guy can't quite get to it. And he's going to get on base. Now batting number three, the right fielder. Ooh, that's the kind of pitch that actually looks like they know what they're doing. As was that, is the chance to make it all happen, to make everything real. Never mind. Swung at that, and how's that? Out number one for the Fruit Bats. Now batting number 18, the catcher. Jerry Butler. We've not heard much of Jerry Butler today, uh, but that doesn't matter. I mean, we've heard so much from everybody else. 
Uh, Jury just hasn't had a chance to speak. And he'll get out, running to first there. When Jiri did speak, Jiri said, It's Bray Wright. Or one. Suckered. And that's the side retired. Now, the third, ba third baseman there had the, uh, had the reception of the ball. Could have just kept hold of it. And, uh, and done the damage, uh, but wasn't confident of being able to stand on the base accurately before the runner made it there. So took the decision to throw to first instead. Uh, here is the final opportunity uh, for Bulldozer Power, and it's uh, Ninja Pumpkin, the ever-reliable, uh, perfectly formed Ninja Pumpkin, who, uh, with one pitch, gets himself out. Now back, number 11, the centre fielder. Wilbur Carface, everybody, and they're bringing on a special pitcher just for him. It's Jack Butts. What the hell was that? Oh dear. And that's now two outs. Now batting, number 13, the second baseman. Here's another player for Bulldozer Power who is uh, full of promise. Whoa! No, no, no. That's uh, one and one. Uh, that one's gone foul, but you know what? He hit the ball, and you're going to give him some credit for that. That one was never going to happen. That one's not happening either. That one was too high. Should have left it alone, but it doesn't really matter. That's kind of the story of the day. Uh, should have left it alone as uh, Bulldozer Power record their first loss of the season and uh, they're going to have a moment of introspection before the next game uh, trying to figure out exactly why this one went wrong. I can tell you why it went wrong. You were swinging at stuff that was rubbish. You were fielding like a bunch of buffoons. So 23 to 1 the final score. 25 hits to the uh, Fruit Bats. Only 6 to Bulldozer Power. Uh, an all-time low for them. In terms of players who actually got hits, five players on the uh, uh, on the bulldozer team actually managed to get a hit, with Steve Murray uh, racking up two. Uh, Steve has been uh, the subject of some criticism over the course of this season for not batting particularly well, but today he was the only one that was any way a bright spark. Uh, looking at the fruit bats uh, uh, results, there, my my my, didn't they do well? So Fuegos records his first loss. Uh, no strikeouts, which is unusual. We usually get at least one strikeout, um, but we didn't, uh, which is perhaps an indicator that we didn't play particularly well. So Poke Rude, uh, the, uh, the opening uh, pitcher, gets the, uh, the top of the MVP orders with Matthew Launcheros and Gail Allen also scoring in the charts. So let's get a roundup of the rest of the games that have been played uh, in the past week. Uh, we've got eight games coming up. Let's uh, let's see what we see. It's the Eagles against the Excavators, who come away 4-2. to two. Brown Sox taking on the Nomads. Uh, Brown Sox looking good, but the Nomads coming back. Brown Sox take it 7-6. to six. Ocelots against the Aardvarks. Uh, an easy win, 6-1. to one. Uh, Swingers against the Dodgers. Uh, Swingers there racking up 8 to take the victory. Here's the Champions against the Raptors. Uh, champions not really living up to their prestigious name at the moment. The Raptors, 13 to 9, the victors. Uh, the Pirates playing the Fruit Bats. Uh, the Pirates beat the Fruit Bats. Uh, Dodgers against Monte Express. And this one's going uh, going at full distance, uh, in, although the Monte Express takes it in the final inning. Brown Sox against the Leprechauns. Easy win for the Leprechauns. So let's have a look and see what that does to the standings. Uh, Bulldozer Power now tied with Monte Express and the Ocelots. Uh, with a 5-1 and one record, although Bulldozer Power do have the greatest run difference at the current time. Uh, the Brown Sox get their season underway with their first win, uh, as uh, as do the Dodgers. Uh, and the Pirates, for that matter, who overcome the uh, the Fruit Bats. Uh, the Pirates, remember, last week were on the receiving end of a, uh, a Bulldozer Power smackdown. Uh, but now they have uh, wreaked their revenge on the uh, Bulldozer Power defeating Fruit Bats. Confused? You should be. So the next game of the season is going to be against the 2-4 Eagles, uh, where Chesley Marino uh, 
uh, will be leading off their uh, their batting order, uh, away, uh, whereas Jay Blackencout is going to be uh, taking care of business for Bulldozer, hopefully. Uh, the good news is that the uh, difficulty will drop. Uh, it won't drop by 10, it'll drop by 5, uh, just to, uh, to keep things spicy. Uh, I do hope to just see you then. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching today. Uh, subscribe to make sure that your season ticket is present and correct, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.